Welcome back to another segment of Manifest with SI Power. I want to talk about attachment in this segment. It doesn't matter if it's an attachment to a person, uh, to a circumstance or condition, uh, to a material thing, so on and so forth. There's a reason that you're attached to it. You wouldn't be attached to it if it didn't serve you at some point, some juncture. Now, it may not be the thing or whatever it is you're attached to may not currently be serving you, right? But at some point, it did. So attachment means meaning, right? Nothing in life in and of itself has an inherent meaning, right? But we assign meaning. We frame things, right? We use our interpretations and generalizations. And so we label things and we give it a meaning. We define it and we let it define us. So the way that you have to deal with it is you have to go back in, right? And really be open and be flexible, right? And be in integrity with yourself. Remember, know thyself. And you just have to ask yourself questions, not from a standpoint of judgment, but from the standpoint of being solution oriented and ask yourself, what did you make this mean? Remember, no judgment because you can't transmute, transform to transcend what you judge. But from the standpoint of re resolving it, not, not in a difficult sense, but releasing it or letting it go permanently so that you can move forward and get different progress in your life. Now, here's the help right here. Nothing has any meaning. You're the power source. You're giving it meaning. So you gave it an original meaning. You can give it another meaning or make peace with it, reframe it so that you're no longer stopped up by this attachment, right? You, you've heard it said, like, you really, really want something to happen. You're anxious about it. And that creates resistance. And usually that thing falls through. But when you really don't care about the outcome or the results, man, it, it happens ideally on its own accord. So this is why I'm encouraging you to go back in, right? Whether it's a circumstance, whether it's a condition, whether it's a material thing, whether it's a person, whether it's promotion, uh, career, whatever the case may be, you got to bring it back down to reality. Take it off the pedestal. Um, stop making it so important, right? Reframe it reassign meaning to it so that you can make it serve you instead of making it harm you or continue to suffer from it. Uh, it's the simplest way that I, I can put it. So you're attached only because of a meaning. You're attached only because of a meaning. You're attached only because of a meaning that you have assigned and nothing in life has an inherent meaning in and of itself. You gave it a meaning. Or you allow somebody else to give it a meaning and you adopted that meaning. And I'm telling you the way to rectify it, the way to move past it, beyond it, stop letting it hinder you, stop suffering from it, um, stop letting it trigger you, so on and so forth, is you got to reassign a meaning to it or make peace with it. Let it go permanently. Let it go permanently. Let it go permanently. This is the process that needs to be executed so that this block or your progress or momentum can stop being hindered because you're the power. It makes no sense to let something small trip you up when you're the one that originally gave it power in the first place by giving it meaning. So reassign meaning or make peace with it. Let it go permanently so that you can begin to move forward, right? Don't make it too important. Don't make it larger than life. 
Uh, lower the importance of it. You're the one that's important. So the way to appease it, to resolve it, to make peace with it, is to reassign meaning so that you can let it go permanently and you can move forward.